GBM has a long and sort of spotted history in terms of what has limited the treatment and the, and the survival, really, of the patients. And it's a devastating disease, as we've heard from the news recently with John McCain and even Bo Biden, Senator Ted Kennedy a few years ago. So it's, it's a devastating disease. Um, very few patients survive. There are some, some uh, you know, stories of patients that have lived more than five years, but in, in, in all, most patients live less than two years. This clinical trial is really designed to achieve the safety of using blood-brain barrier disruption mode of ultrasound in the non-enhancing regions of gliomas. And to do that both before surgery so that we can assess not only the tissue after focused ultrasound treatment, but what it means to perform focused ultrasound at that time in the disease progression, meaning early on. My understanding of the Lockhart Award is that it, it, it honors a, uh, a, a family member of the Lockharts who passed away from um, an abdominal cancer. Um, and what they were really trying to do with this award, I think, was promote um, an early phase investigator who was thinking about new ways to take the technology and, and apply it in patients with cancer. And so that's really what we've been doing for the last three to five years with our GBM clinical trials and working with InsightTech and our team at the University of Maryland. I think we've developed a, uh, a strong strategy to move the technology forward. And we all are thinking many steps ahead in in terms of what we can do with this technology, both related to blood-brain barrier disruption, but also other modes of other modes of ultrasound that could be used for immunomodulation or radiation sensitization, and there's so many. The sky is the limit. My hope is that, with the help of everyone here and with the focused ultrasound technology, that we can really catch up and move things forward for these patients and give them something to have hope you know, that, they're, that they one day may actually live with their disease, if anything, and maybe, if we're lucky, cure them.